Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television and BoardGameToday.com. I'm Brett. We're doing an unboxing of the Warhammer 40,000 McFarland Toys Primaris Space Marine Intercessor. With uh, he's got a bolt pistol and a starts uh, a start a chainsword. Uh, Primaris Intercessor. So this is part of their line of new Warhammer 40,000 figures where uh, McFarland Toys is working closely with Games Workshop to release um, some pretty impressive figures so far. They've got four releases that are in stores. Uh, two are painted. We have this uh, Primaris Marine. There's a Necron Warrior that's also painted. And then they're also doing what's known as Artist Proofs, which are pretty cool in that they're unpainted and you are expected to go and paint themselves. So you can do up a toy that looks like your own Warhammer 40,000 army, which is, I think, really, really great. Coming soon is, is more Marines. There's going to be a Sisters of Battle, which I think is pretty awesome. And uh, this is pretty exciting. So we're going to do an unboxing of this. We're going to do an unboxing video of the Necron Warrior as well, as dual video between the two sites since it is relevant to both of them. And then we're going to go figure out about how the hell to paint these figures uh, for the Artist Proof. Um, I, of course, want to thank McFarlane Toys for hooking us up with these for review copies, uh, really, really appreciate it. I've been super excited since these were announced. It's been, um, I don't think I've been ex this excited for a line of toys in a really, really long time. Uh, so to be able to get them and, and check them out and, and do a review makes me super happy. Now, you know, for those who've seen past reviews, you know I did the Bandai Space Marine, and I gotta say I was really unimpressed with it. For $100, I thought it was super expensive. Uh, and didn't just wasn't quite worth the value. These are much more affordable in the twenty to twenty five dollar range is about where I've seen them. Uh, we'll have some links underneath this video where you can purchase. Now the thing that first stands out to me about the, the Marine is it is beefy. This has got some heft to it and uh, some decent weight. Like this does not feel like a cheap toy. The, the figures like it's heavy. This is uh, this is pretty heavy figure um, and. That really kind of surprised me, and it might sound weird, but just the weight alone makes me feel like I'm getting some value to it, which makes me happy. Um, I know it's it sounds weird, but you know I think the weight and material figures are made out of. Obviously, the material means a big deal, but the weight has something to do with it too, at least in my mind. You know, you can buy those things that feel really cheap, really chintzy. Uh, cheap plastic and you're just like, you know, is, is it really worth the money? And, you know, oftentimes the answer is no. So if there's anything fancy way of getting these out or if it's just pop the plastic, pop the protecting and that's it. Um, but this, like, right away feels like it's worth the money. Um, it, it, it's, it's kind of, you know, I think some folks will, will understand what I'm getting at with that. The, the value of figures. I remember when toys were not that difficult to open up. Um, I feel like I see that with like every video I do. So let's at least get the backpack of the Marine on. And go from there. Now it's funny, this figure comes with a base, and you can see that I was able to stand it up with no issues whatsoever. Now the question is, is how well will it stand up with its backpack? And the answer is really easily. Um, okay, let's go with, I always like to do the, the joint test to see what can move and what can not move. So we have up and down on the foot, pretty basic. Not much wiggle room to the, the right or left of the foot knee. We have a good bend there. This farm really liking these details on it. Uh, knee does not really twist left and right. Waist has got some movement. You're kind of, I think, limited just kind of the design of the Space Marine. But, you know, it's got some decent movement there. Waist, we got good twist on there. We got up and down. Um, it doesn't look like it actually twists at the waist itself, but we got the upper chest does that. Arms up and down. Goes out a decent amount. Elbow. Ah, uh, so this is interesting. The elbow does not look like it bends. 
Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, there we go. It's just really stiff. The elbow does bend. It just was very, very stiff. Oh, it's being very questioned. I was, that was going to be confusing for me. Wrist. Back and forth. Not much of a give up and down or either way. You know, obviously other arms the same. And then head, we've got a good twist overall. All right, so the, the, the movement of the figure is, I think, pretty good. The immediately things that jump out to me is that the shoulder pads are, are done in a way that makes the movement easy, you can, like possible. Otherwise, you might uh, it would get stuck and just not work. So they've designed the, the shoulder pads in a really interesting way. The other thing that I like, unlike the Bandai, is that the shoulder pads don't pop off constantly. That had some issues with parts falling off when you would use it and move it around. So that was kind of a pain. Backpack, easy to fit on. Um, and doesn't seem to really impact much at all. So let's go into the details. The detail, I think, is impressive with this figure. All right, so first, we just have the general sculpt of the figure. It looks like a giant Space Marine. Um, this would remind me of any plastic model I would have put together, any Space Marine model I put together. Um, I think the detail, the layering, is actually what really stands out to me and is impressive. We can see just even on the boots alone, on the Space Marine boots, um, what's crazy is we've got like lines here and lines around, but there's actually like a, feels like there's a slight layer to it. We've got, you know, small details like this that jump out and are actually above. It's not just carved out, but there's, there's some depth to it. And you can also see like on the boot here, uh, the front of it, uh, I don't even know what you would want to call it, shield, whatever, is raised from the boot itself going up to the knee, uh, the knee part, which I think is just really cool. And then you can kind of get that, that design there. On the hips, you have very similar as well with the with the amount of detail of the, the layers of the Space Marine armor. I think that's that's the thing that's really jumping out to me is the layers on this figure are super impressive. Like this really feels like a suit of armor being put on, a Space Marine armor put on. And then you've got the painting details itself. These this figure is crisp. The the paint on this is fantastic. Um, it's really really impressive, and I'm seeing no flaws at all in it. Uh, you know, we got down to the, the white on blue. I mean, there's a little bit of white on the, the kneecap, um, whatever you want to call this part here. A little bit on the line around it, but not much at all. But, like, the ultramarine symbol with the skull is flawless to me. I'm not seeing anything. You've got the, the uh, shield on the shoulder, the, um, the iconic, iconography, um, just done super well. I mean, even this on the details, you have bolts coming out from the shield, which I think is really impressive. Of course, we've got uh, the... the uh, is it a part of the uh, tactical squad? Pretty sure that's a tactical squad symbol. And it's, yeah, assault is assault is the the arrow. Tactical, I believe, is this, or maybe this is assault. Sorry, this is the assault symbol. Um, uh, and then you got the squad number. Like all this is just really done uh, cl clear, crisp, really well. And then the helmet, the red is fantastic. Of course, again for the details, you know, there's like slight shading on it. The the I just, it's just impressive. It's really, really impressive. I mean, the, the only thing that might, I think people might have issues with is like the gold on the, on the chest and the shoulders, like it's a nice coloring and I think it's really nice, but there's just like a, maybe like a, um, like a shading missing to it. If it had that, it would be to like a next level figure as far as I'm concerned. It's really, really cool. Um, the other thing I would say is the negative about the figure is the hands, is that you, are really limited, of course, with the hands you've got. Um, so you can put in the weapons, and that's about it. And there's no replacement hands. Really minor thing for what you're getting for you know twenty something dollars. Um, you know that's that's fine with me. This isn't a figure that I needed three billion accessories for. Um, it's 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 solid. It's really really solid. Uh, so that's I mean that's really it about the figure itself. Uh, you know, there's very few flaws on this. This is just a beautiful figure for twenty dollars. This is amazing to me. For twenty twenty five dollars, this is amazing to me. Uh, and I'll, I'll be honest, is like, yeah, McFarlane hooked me up with a review copy. I've got copies coming. Like, I've got other figures of this coming because I was so excited about this, and I I got the review copy, and I'm not canceling because I've been so impressed with this. Um, the weapons. The weapons are probably the only thing I'm going to knock. The rubbery. Uh, at least the sword is, and the sword is bent a little. It's not straight. Uh, so I could probably straighten it out, but it, it's rubbery. This isn't hard plastic. It feels kind of chintzy. Uh, the painting is decent, though. Uh, you know, there's a little bit of shading, coloring difference. Uh, you know, obviously, you could probably do a lot more with it if you wanted. But overall, like, it's it's pretty solid 
figure, let's see how they try to do this. All right, so they've got the gun in the right hand. All right, I think we're, I think we're finding our flaw on this one. Is getting the weapons in is not easy to do. There we go. Alright, so that's kind of a pain in the butt. That is a slight flaw. I'm going to go with points deduction on that one. I was able to do it, but it's it's kind of a it's a little bit of a headache, I'm not going to lie. Um, Alright, so let's try the sword, the chain sword. So the skull doesn't really fit through the hand. So they got this. So the thing is, they got this finger that you want to get it around. So the question is, how do you get the chain sword around? Maybe that's why it's rubbery, is to try to slip it in. There we go. All right. So chain sword is a pain in the butt as well, but once it's in, it's in. So there's that. All right, so once the figure's in, the weapons are in, the weapons are in. Like, the weapons were kind of, you saw that. It was a little bit pain in the butt. But this looks pretty decent. Let's see if we can get some, how easy it is to get some cool poses off of it. Yeah, this is not that, this is not hard to do. Um, you know, obviously standing, no problem at all. This figure is, is, is solid. I mean, other than maybe the hand issues of getting the, uh, the weapons in, this is impressive figure, and as a GW fan, like I'm, I'm actually really, really happy about this. As a, as a 40k player, as a toy fan, someone who just generally enjoys toys and appreciates them, um, I'm impressed with this as well. I think the only thing I might, I'm gonna knock a little bit on. This is a damn near flawless figure. Is the hands again? The weapons in was kind of a pain in the butt. And maybe I'd like a, a one or two more options to make that easier. But overall, this is a really, really cool figure. Really impressive and um, an awesome addition to the collection. Of course, it's going to go up on the shelf behind and, and be shown off all the time after we have some fun with some photos. Um, but overall, this is a really impressive start from, uh, from McFarlane Toys. And of course, we're going to do the Necron Warrior uh, as an opening as well and then figure out how to paint the artist proof. So I want to thank McFarlane Toys first and foremost for hooking us up with the review copies and we appreciate it. Thank you for watching now. Uh, we are going to have some links underneath where you can go buy your own primary space marine from uh, McFarlane Toys. Some of them might be affiliate links. There are affiliate links. Uh, we'll get a small percentage by doing that. You help support our sites. Now, if you are into toys, you should check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. Um, there are on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy. If you are into board games like Warhammer 40,000, want those latest news, you can check us out at uh, boardgametoday.com and uh, there on Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and uh, YouTube as well. So I uh, always appreciate it and thanks for watching. Until next time, for the Emperor! And keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.